The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Recently, Evernerd introduced their all-new E-Tech G2 175 outboard engine, so let's take a look. The E-Tech G2 175 is targeted at boats in a number of categories, including pontoon boats, aluminum, bass, and multi-species fishing boats, as well as for single and twin engine center consoles and bay boats. According to the folks at Evinrude, the E-Tech G2 175 makes 30% more peak torque than competitive four-strokes. The extra torque improves planing time for fishing boats and pulling power for towing water sports. Evinrude tells us that when they run competitive four-stroke engines on their dyno, the E-Tech G2-175s get best-in-class fuel economy. That means longer runs offshore and less money spent on gas at the pump. The engine also has the lowest reportable emissions compared to competitive four-strokes, something that's widely acknowledged in the industry. From a drivability standpoint, the E-Tech G2-175 comes with digital shift and throttle, dynamic power steering, and eye trim, which automatically trims the motor for the driver. The steering system can be adjusted for the amount of assist a driver wants, and eye trim can even be turned off. Now let's take a closer look at some of the E-Tech G2-175's key features, starting with the SLX gear case. It has a larger anti-ventilation plate, a straight leaning edge, and two low water pickups. The cambered skeg eliminates the need for a trim tab. The gear case is designed with a streamlined profile, and inside, Evernude uses robust gears and shafts, the same one used on the E-Tech G2 300 horsepower engine. That greatly improves durability. Forward of the drive shaft in the lower unit is the digital shift module. When the shift lever is engaged, it sends a digital signal to the module, which smoothly shifts the gears. Long cable linkages are eliminated along with the clunk. Working our way up the motor, let's check out the integrated hydraulic steering in the G2 midsection. All the components, including the enclosed hydraulic actuators, are contained in the housing, which significantly reduces corrosion and eliminates the external hydraulic cylinder and arm that can fail and take up space in the outboard well. And because the external steering gear is eliminated, the E-Tech G2 175 can be tilted up to 81 degrees, meaning that the engine is completely out of the water on virtually every boat. At the top of the midsection, the larger diameter tilt tube provides stronger support for tilting the motor. Below are the trim rams. At the very top of the midsection is the clean rigging tube that all wires pass through, creating a neater stern with fewer moving parts. Another attribute is the lightweight top and side panels that are easier to remove than heavier one-piece cowls on competitive motors. The side panels are offered in seven colors with 14 accent colors, making it easy to match to the boat's color. With the starboard side panel removed, we see the three gallon integral oil tank, eliminating the need for the external oil tank we typically see on conventional engines. This will last the average boater about 50 hours of use before refill. Forward of the tank is the starter and aft are the fuel injectors and spark plugs. The 66 degree G2 engine block was designed from scratch specifically for direct fuel injection. The contours of the combustion chamber and the placement of the spark plug and injectors optimize combustion, and that is how the E-Tech G2 is able to be so fuel efficient. On top of the engine is the raw water cooled electronic management module, or EMM, which controls all the engine functions, including fuel injection. Each injector can pulse up to 100 times per second. The 66 degree block is epoxy coated, and the lower units are coated with a titanium oxide to dramatically reduce corrosion. Special green ring seals further reduce corrosion. On the port side of the E-Tech G2-175, Evinrude installs the fuel pump and diaphragm forward. The white fuel water separator and the reservoir for the lower unit gear lube are just aft. Notice the bottle is clear, so at a glance, an order can check the level as well as the quality of the lube. With the top panel removed, we find access to the fill for the oil tank and the electrode post to jumpstart the engine if needed. Exclusive to the G2 engine is the Magneto-style alternator. It eliminates the usual belts and pulleys found in conventional alternator charging systems and is the only one of its kind in the industry. It produces 133 amps, 50 of which are sent to the house battery for onboard accessories. Another convenience item? This hole is threaded for a garden hose to screw into, making it easy to flush the engine with fresh water. With the E-Tech G2-175, Evinrude has provided consumers with an engine calibrated for their specific application, which saves money both on the unit itself as well as operation. And when it comes to laying the boat up for the winter, the E-Tech G2 automatically winterizes itself with the touch of a button. 
that's our look at the all-new Evernude E-Tech G2 175. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.